All right, YouTube. Well, what do you think? Uh, not the super prettiest. See if I can get its focus there. But damn, that is really tricky to get that uh, aluminum there to actually gum together there. Uh, what I've been using, um, I've been running some 40 thousandths. 2% lanthanated tungsten right there, right there, um, just because I didn't have any 2% or any uh, pure tungsten, uh, which I'm going to call it uh, in 40 thousandths. And um, yeah, just been taking a wire brush, cleaning the bottom of the pop cans, some 16th 40-43 filler, and there you go. Um, I'm relatively pleased. Um, this is probably my best looking one yet. I've done about the rear four of them so far, and kind of refining my settings here. Um, at first, I was running a relatively high cleaning action. Um, if you're not familiar with AC TIG, um, uh, normal steel TIG is done on electrode negative. Um, AC, uh, or you know, the um, AC side uh, of the sine wave breaks up uh, the oxides on here. You kind of get a little band of etching. Um, on the on the positive side, on the electrode positive side, that's kind of what happens when you're uh, when you're welding aluminum. Um, I recommend uh, welding tips and tricks. Uh, the guy over there has some really good explanations of this. But anyway, for pop cans like that, I found that uh, when you leave it balanced, um, it really tends to just kind of etch away any metal that is on the bottom of these. I don't know how thick those are, but they are really damn thin. Um, anyway, it just kind of etches away. That material, you can just sit here at a really low amperage, you know, maybe say like 10 amps, and it will just gradually etch through the bottom of the can. Um, but what I'd found was if I turned my AC balance up to about 50 or 60, or actually I think I might have even been 70 there at the end where it was working really well, um, I was trying to find a balance between a relatively clean puddle and a... Um, you know, actually, uh, you know, not etching through there. Uh, there's, uh, again, you know, uh, Jody at Welding Tips and Tricks has some really good videos about, um, you know, the difference in the way the puddle looks. I, I tried taking some videos this evening with a little deal I built there and a, a filter in front of it, but they didn't turn out too well. I'll try and get some better videos up, but basically, um, the more cleaning, less cleaning action you have, the dirtier the puddle, and you'll just get kind of this film that floats on top there and kind of makes it difficult to go along but if you don't if you have too much cleaning action on such a narrow or such a thin piece of metal like this it just kind of makes it really difficult so anyway there you go i'm running 40 amps i'm probably only about halfway down on the pedal most of the time and yeah i think i was up around 70 there on the um on the uh, ac balance uh that's pretty much it it's uh going along here pretty good i'm uh, really enjoying it i do need to get a new a smaller tig torch this uh, is a 17 series torch and it is really difficult to do sort of in intricate work like this i think i'm going to buy a 9 series with a super flex cable um this one's definitely flexier than my other 17 series over there but um i definitely want to pick up one with the uh, super flex uh hose anyway and maybe a water cooler but uh, i don't really have the cash for that right now anyway i'm darlington farm there you go there's some pop cans welded together Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.